Having problems with your Wi-Fi connection at home cutting in and out? Or do you have problems with it running way slower than it should? The first thing I'd suggest, and that you may have already done uh, to try and fix this, is to power down your router for 20 or 30 seconds uh, and then turn it back on again. Depending on the cause of your problem, this may fix it. I don't know what it is with computerized devices, but occasionally they hang up for some reason and just need to be reset and powering them off and back on again fixes it. However, there is another reason you could be having connectivity issues or just really slow internet and wireless network speeds. You may or may not know that Wi-Fi operates using radio waves. I'm probably dating myself a lot with this next example, uh, but if you've ever manually tuned a radio, you've experienced when you get right between two stations that are close together and can hear them both at the same time. In this situation, the channels are interfering with one another, making it difficult to make out uh, exactly what is playing on either station. It's only when you tune in completely to a single station that the sound becomes clear. Now imagine what it would be like if both radio stations were broadcasting on the exact same frequency. You'd have that interference all the time. The same thing is true with Wi-Fi. Uh, most routers nowadays broadcast on the 2.4 and or 5 gigahertz bands. What many people don't know is within these frequency bands, there are different channels you can choose to broadcast your Wi-Fi network on. If you have a lot of neighbors that live close together, uh, especially in apartment complexes and townhouses and stuff, you can have a lot of Wi-Fi networks in close proximity to each other. Uh, this in and of itself isn't a bad thing. Um, you know, the city you live in probably has dozens of different radio stations and there's no problem with any of them when you're properly tuned into the one channel's frequency. However, if your network and a neighbor's network that lives close by are broadcasting on the same channel uh, or on channels that are very close to one another, you can get interference from your neighbor's network, causing connections to your wireless devices to drop or just be really slow. So how do we fix this, Brian? You've been talking for over two minutes now and haven't given us a solution. Okay, okay. Uh, the first step is to find out what channel your network and your neighbor's networks are broadcasting on. Uh, you can do this really easily using a free Wi-Fi analyzer app on your smartphone or tablet like this one. Once I launch the app, you can see all the different Wi-Fi networks near me. You'll notice some numbers along the bottom here and on the left side of the graph. Uh, the numbers over here are the decibel milliwatts. As I'm sure you've guessed, this is the measurement of the radio signal strength. The closer the signal strength is to zero, the stronger the signal. My home network is the closest one to me, so obviously it's the one with the strongest signal here. Uh, along the bottom of the graph are the channels that are available within the 2.4 gigahertz band. If I tap 5 gigahertz here at the top, then it will show me all the 5 gigahertz networks my phone is in range of. Switching back over to 2.4 gigahertz, uh, my network is on channel 11, but because of the way radio waves work, there is some bleed over on the channels both above and below that channel, which you see here on the graph. Most all of my neighbors are using channels 1 through 9, which is why I chose channel 11 for my network. But at the same time, all my neighbors' houses are far enough away that their signals are weak enough, they wouldn't interfere with my network anyway. Uh, just FYI, a signal above negative 50 dBm or decibel milliwatts is considered a strong signal, and anything lower than negative 70 is weak. So like I said, I'm far enough away from all my neighbors that I could actually broadcast on the same channel they are without it affecting the connectivity to either my network or theirs. However, if you live in an apartment or something and have neighbors above you, below you, on either side of you, all broadcasting on the same channel or on channels very close to one another, then you will most likely experience some kind of connectivity problems. Okay, so I'm finally getting to the part where I explain what you need to do to fix this. You'll need to log into your router from a computer or other device. If you don't know how to log into your router, you'll have to find your owner's manual or look it up online and find out how to log into your router. 
As for my ASUS router, I just need to type in my router's IP address of 192.168.1.1 into my web browser, and it will bring me to my router login page, where I need to input my username and password to log in. Unless you have the same router I do, your dashboard will probably look very different than mine does, but you should have most of the same or very similar options. To change the channel your network is broadcasting on, you're going to want to go to your router's wireless settings. If you have a dual band router like mine, you should have some way of selecting which band you want to modify. Using this little drop down right here, I can switch between my 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. The thing we're most concerned about though is the channel field down here. On the 2.4 GHz band, you'll have the choice of channels 1 through 11. If your network is currently clumped in with all your neighbors, then you'll want to change your channel to one that has no one else on it, or has the least amount of overlap with your neighbor's networks. Since my closest neighbors are using channels 1 through 9, I chose channel 11 to avoid any potential interference from them. Once you've selected your channel, you'll need to apply the change, and now that you're no longer being interfered with by your neighbors, you should get much better connectivity and network speed. If you're using the 5 GHz band, the same principle applies. You just need to see what channels your neighbors are using and select one that no one else is using or has the least amount of overlap with your neighbors. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you again in another video real soon. Later!